Here's him. Hi. Hey. I got How's a bunch it going? of good. I got friends <laughs> right now. Hold on. <gasps> so Pikachu. Pikachu. I thought she said trick or treat. <laughs> Pikachu. She can't Pikachu? hear you. Say oh, hi, Emily. I need my headphones. You need your headphones. Oh, here's my big headphones. You need your very own headphones. <laughs> That's a really good dance. Okay. I'll give you a headphones next time, okay? You're going to go out with Daddy now, and I'm going to wear the headphones and talk to Emily. Are you doing? She, she's like, rock on. Mommy, it's in the car. She's so smart. Oh, no, she was making a phone. Hello? Okay. All right. It's time to go now. I love you. I'll see you later. <laughs> now. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Anyways. Hey. Hey. They were hanging out with me because I hadn't really seen him much this morning because I'd been at that interview I told you about. So sweet. And it went well. Yeah. Yeah. They already offered me the job. So nice. Yep, so Is it one you back. want? Well, it's the, uh, it's hygiene it's, and hygiene's kind of hygiene. It seems like a nice office though. So I'm good. Here's hoping they, they would be lucky to have you. That's what I told I them. I just spit. <laughs> <laughs> they would be that lucky to have yeah, you. Right. Sorry. I need some Red Bull. Hold on. It's all good. I need to stop this. I know it's bad for me. Did you stop the Dr. Pepper? Is it? <laughs> Yeah, but then, but then I didn't, you know, <laughs> we like talked some big game about stopping that. And then I, I uh, didn't. And then it's the thing. Yeah. Uh, no, I talked a big game about working out and I just started again four days ago. And I'm like, yeah, that wasn't a thing that I did for the first yeah. three months of the I year. I think you have to restart like a lot of times. Like I will, I will restart I so. again. Like I have the desire, but I don't quite have, there's like a lot of lawn mowing going on outside my house. Can you hear it? No. Yeah, I'm very but, glad. Uh, this is this is my jealous face because we don't have lawn to mow yet because it's still cold. Oh, I forgot. So. I forgot not everybody <laughs> lives in uh, perpetual summer. <laughs> certainly not me. It's certainly not me. Yeah, it's really it's nice. Cold. I like it. Fine, I'll be there in two hours. We'll oh my gosh, I love plane. that so much. Remember when you were like teasing about like buying a house and flipping it down here? Now yes. is not the time for that because you know there's no houses, but there is it. That would have been, that. yeah, would have been. Awesome. It would have been cool. Mm -hmm. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Em. Yes. All the things I say I'm gonna do and then I don't. It's Ditto. like stop it. The curse. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm like, I just need someone to walk around and smack things out of my hand. Is that too much to ask for? Right. You know, right. we were, we were talking about how we keep our, our pug dipper like healthy because uh -huh. our, we, our last pug beagle mix, like had weight problems. Cause he, they will eat themselves to death. Like if there's food available to them, at least ours have just been like, I'm going to eat that. Like until I feel I that on up. a personal level, <laughs> <Ditto. laughs> no, but then we were talking about how, but we, we just, we measure his food and stuff and he's so happy and so healthy. And I'm like, how come I can't get that? Can, can I wish someone's pet who is like check right. it out you this is you're gonna you be healthy need. and mm -hmm. and yeah. just pour me my kibble and tell me <laughs> it won't be as much fun but and then you know. pet my head and tell me i'm the best boy mm -hmm. not boy but yeah whatever you want to call me as long as you feed me <laughs> there you go anyways uh welcome back to our little white picket fence welcome back this is um, fun i like this <laughs> me too <laughs> we should we should do this Oh, wait, we, we are. Should. We kind of are. It's I an think excuse I'm... to shower. No. <laughs> Sometimes we need that. <laughs> For reals. <laughs> I yeah. laugh like it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah. Not for realsies. <laughs> it's just like, you know, for ha ha. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, mm -hmm. I chose a topic for today of uh, stuff. And by that, I mean, just like all the stuff we the have, the things we amass, the things we amass and like how it affects us mentally, how it is affecting mm -hmm. the environment, how it's affecting, um, everything, just health, you know, I don't know, just 
it's just one of those things, especially with right now being like a, a potential transition time for us, just because mm -hmm. like, although I, I have a job, Anthony still doesn't have one. And we're thinking about maybe downsizing, who knows, you know what I mean? Just kind of like yeah. weighing our options and noticing uh -huh. how much stuff we've amassed, you know, like it's a lot after our house burned down in 2012. Anthony joked that I was like one of the only people to lose everything in a house fire and just be happy to get rid of some shit <laughs> because stuff has always kind of been like not my thing but for whatever reason mm -hmm. I still accumulate stuff at an alarming rate like yeah and a lot do. of it a lot of it has come from like just over time you know like you just I think I must be a bit of a hoarder at the same time because I I think I'm not yet I look in every corner and I'm like, I have all these things for just in case stuff I need it stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, and the reason why I don't want to get rid of it is because everything that's we've ever owned is somewhere. You know what I mean? There's too much mm -hmm. stuff in the, in the world on like on earth, we create too much trash. So I'm like, I don't want to get rid of things and then need it down the road. And I could have, you know what I mean, had, Already it, had it. Yeah. Had it here. So that's definitely a factor. Cause it's like, it's nice to have those things when they when the time comes that you need them but mm -hmm. it doesn't often happen that I need them All right until, until it's like 10 years down the road when I just threw them away because it was like there's no way I'm ever gonna need this one. I was just gonna say and please throw it away <laughs> and then you'll find a use for it because yeah. that's always the way it goes yeah so mm -hmm. so yeah where does uh where does this take your mind do you struggle with this uh yes of course mm -hmm. um five kids we have stuff everywhere we have everybody's stuff sure that i keep all the stuff that's important to all of my kids and can i want to uh, can you start over i'm gonna have to figure out how to cut this but for whatever reason it paused you like this for a bit <laughs> no it didn't pause me i was actually <laughs> no you know i'm not even gonna take this out now but could you just start over <laughs> absolutely i can okay um no, with five kids, we amass lots of stuff and I'm a really sentimental person. Yeah. So I want to make sure that all of my kids have the things that are, you know, super important to them and the things that were meaningful to them. And they're like, um, first little baby outfits and their first little wow. things they did in kindergarten and their first, you know, I just, I, I keep stuff. Yeah. So, um, I'm also finding out that I'm not good at keeping stuff like. You mean nicely organized? preserved in yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do less of it. I'm trying to like yeah. keep only super yeah. important things and realize that they don't care that they went to Yellowstone when they were three and have the t shirt still, or, you know, yeah. it just, they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. And the, it, having a picture of it is nice or whatever. I think the yeah. house fire really helped me with that because yeah i had i had all the stuff like the makings for like baby books for the girls um and i think bella's was even like done and all these pictures i had done on the walls where i had them both like they literally both were in the same outfit at the same time in the same you know and i did this whole thing Aww. and i lost it all and i was like i don't know this is kind of like well, well um <laughs> you cry know, over it but it's still not going to bring them back yeah because it was you know what are you gonna do it's gone so now with elena i'm like i don't have it for them so i also don't feel as much of a like she needs to have this we have pictures galore you know and yeah. even a lot of those pictures that were on the walls like we have kind of shitty version digital versions of them so we got we got something for memory's sake and i think yeah. you know that's all we really need one of the things that we did with stuff at the time was uh -huh. neatly organize it and store it away like we had these american girl dolls that the girls had got for Christmas, but I had never let them play with because I was like, they were too young and they weren't going to appreciate it. It's this expensive doll. And I didn't really grow up having things like that. So I was like, I just don't yeah. want them to ruin it right away. And they literally never got to touch them because they and lost their fire. So now I'm, I'm a lot more of the whole, like play with it literally until you break it. Yep. Use all the life it has or, and you know, you don't have to break it obviously, but like, I'm yeah, not, no, as, I like, get what you mean though. I'm not like, as, be like, careful with it. Be careful. Yeah. Treat it well. like, I'm like, you know, enjoy your toy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my grandma left me her dishes and it's that she didn't really leave me her dishes. That's just what I got from her house. <laughs> okay. No, and they're, they're like beautiful. They're like China dishes and 
-hmm. there's a lot of them. And at first I was like, okay, I'm just going to store these and never touch them because I don't want to break them. And mm -hmm. um, now I do so many like huge family dinners mm -hmm. that I bring them out all the time. And occasionally one will break. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Yeah. It's Grandma would be okay purpose. with that because yeah, it, it lived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it did. The last thing I want to do is keep them pristine so that my kids will have to keep them pristine. So their kids will have to keep like. Yeah. And they're just more the fucking stuff. <laughs> that's stressful that's a huge the huge part of why like this is on my mind is because I think it is super stressful to have all this stuff and like I've been thinking that a lot but then I had a friend over the other day who she just went through some pretty traumatic things and by just because of all the events that just happened she lives in an RV like tiny home that she's renovated herself and lives with her um, young son in and she yeah. was just talking about how like she was almost forced to learn to live with little, but how like she's realized that not having all that stuff is like, she hasn't had to have her mind thinking about all these things, you know, like a household, you're constantly kind of like mm -hmm. inventory, you're taking care of it all the time. She's like, yeah, she's like, it's so crazy. Cause now it's like, I'm seeing the world completely differently. I'm looking at myself. I'm working on myself. I'm becoming a better person. And she's like, I didn't even realize how much stuff was holding me back. And it kind of made me think like, I am constantly like trying to keep tabs on all the stuff we have. And it's not like, I'm like, I'm going to do this. It's just, that's how my mind works. So if it all yeah, exists, every, it's all going to exist on my plate. <laughs> and you everything know? you own owns a piece of you. Yeah. And, and in order to like have a house that feels nice and that I want to be living in and entertaining in and stuff like that, I can't have that stuff everywhere because it, it gives me such, such anxiety that I'm like, I would literally mm -hmm. rather not have things that have them just disheveled all over the house, you know? Well, and the things that you, you look at and you're like this, I want this, this will be awesome. Mm -hmm. You buy it, whatever it is. And then it sits in a corner and does nothing like, yes. I don't know, the like, games you play, the toys you play with, the everything. Yeah. And when you have too much stuff, you don't, um, going on my soapbox, my soapbox here, Go for it. you don't, um, you don't appreciate it. Like I grew yeah. up not really having things. And so like, if I had the opportunity to get in a pool or jump on a trampoline, you know what I mean? I took every opportunity I had. My kids live yeah. with a pool. My kids live with a trampoline. They live with all these things and they still come to me and say, I'm bored. And I'm like, Hold we on. have stuff. Like we got all yeah. the stuff, the video goes, we got all the stuff. Cause we're basically big kids. Me and Anthony, we still very much like to play. And what I've realized is that I think a huge reason why I like entertaining and having people at the house is because that's mm -hmm. when me and our kids, my family, that's when we enjoy our stuff. We only enjoy it when we're doing it with other people. So literally the only reason I want to maintain all the stuff I have right now is just so I can uh. use it to, to offer that to other people. But like, mm -hmm. I see for myself that like <laughs> having this stuff isn't like some leg up I'm giving my kids because they're not learning. Like they're not going to, I don't know. They don't like, yeah, they don't even appreciate it because they don't even know what it is to not have it. And I like, I, I wish that they had more excitement over things the way that I did. So I think I might've yeah. even been happier having less. Although I think my kids are very happy. I just also, I'm like, I don't know. Just Yeah. There's a, there's a piece that you got when you were a kid that seems to be missing. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I kind of wish we could have stuff like on a rotation basis. Like this week I get the trampoline and we send it somewhere and then we get the pool and then you send it somewhere so they can appreciate it. And then you get the yeah. bikes or, you know, Yeah. so cause that, um, not having it and then all of a sudden having it and being like, Hey, yeah. So that's, like what, that's why it's so fun when people come over, yeah. you know, because then it's like, if they want to get in the pool, then everybody like, then we want to get in the pool, but we don't want to mm -hmm. do like all these things alone for some reason. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. It's just an interesting thing that I've, I'm kind of like observing and I'm kind of like, well, Observation. yeah, sometimes I'm like, maybe it would be better to like have less for a while just for like learning to like really enjoy things as they come and like enjoying every yeah. moment instead of like waiting for something to make you go, wow, like Mm -hmm. that, nothing's coming to wow you and make you happy like yeah you got to find that in in all the things that you're doing I and mean, when you don't have it and then you see it you like really appreciate it mm -hmm. 
So absolutely. I think it'd be fun to live in a, like a tiny home for a year or two. And I, I say that now, but yeah, like I can, I can see my future self kicking me if they ever have to do it. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, you wanted this. Yeah. Like, see, and I don't, but, I don't want it, but I could, I think I could enjoy it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like if it were a, if we, if that were what we had to do and get rid of all the things that we have, I think I could enjoy just nomading it for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Having less, uh, and if, but I worry about how it would be with my kids. Yeah. 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 You'd want, you want a home base for your kids, but even times that we've gone, like we went to San Diego and we stayed in this little apartment that was like two bedrooms, something like that. And my kids all hung out together and they had fun and, you know, we didn't need more than two bedrooms because yeah, because you didn't at the have beach your all the time to and escape to or or yeah, you yeah you're going to like find adventure. Like I think it, it yeah. really can be like better for you too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so but I could also see like I could also see my teenagers being like, I just want somewhere to be alone. Leave me. Alone. Oh yeah, because you probably aren't staying for more than like two weeks or something, right? Yeah, just. Oh no, it's like days. Days, okay. Days. Yeah. <laughs> I was way overestimating. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. I would right? take a two week vacation. I know. Yeah. yeah, we're getting ready to go to Kennedy Space Center. Um that sounds like fun. Tomorrow. Yeah. I'm excited. <gasps> nice. I went with uh Haley on a field trip. I thought it was pretty neat. To the Space so, Center? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go as a fam and then go to the beach. Because it's our spring break right now. So Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Ours ours starts tomorrow oh okay we're pretty like in sync <laughs> I was gonna do a little in sync song there but I couldn't yeah. I'm gonna do back. never mind you're gonna do back I wanted boys? to do in sync it was coming out backstreet boys and then I just stopped myself altogether oh, it's not you. it's not happening I know I know yeah I'm, anyway younger me would have been so mad <laughs> just kidding Heidi is livid she's just mad kidding she's oh, having a baby a difference I know I saw oh my god I'm, I'm excited oh, for her yeah it's, me too yeah like oh my god I'm glad that she lived a lot before she's having a kid too like I think that's yeah. gonna benefit her so much because I think so many people are so excited about like having a baby because of all the good things that it is and it is a lot of good things mm-hmm. but it mm-hmm. also is it will become your life and if you haven't become like a person yet in, in figuring out who you are and a lot stuff. harder to figure that out oh yeah it, it basically won't happen so yeah you, you know like yeah it's, I think that she's gonna benefit so much from like doing all the things that she did and I think her her kiddo will benefit too I think so too I am very happy for them yeah I don't know there's there's pluses and minuses to both like I look at myself as a younger parent and I'm like man she had a lot of energy like <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's How did true. she do the things? Um, but uh, yeah, that's totally true. But here I am turning 40 this year with a two-year-old that is so active and I still keep up. And honestly, that's true. Sometimes I think sometimes me not having the energy is good for her because I don't automatically fulfill her need. And so she learns a little patience. Whereas I think sometimes with my others, I was a little too quick to like fix it. What do you need? It what do you need? But yeah, exactly. I fixed it to the point that it was like, I didn't even realize that I, I was just Johnny on the spot, which is like, Mm -hmm. when you're that way with everybody, you have no, you don't even realize you've given nothing to yourself. Yeah. Until all of a sudden you're burnt out. Oh yeah. And then, you know, then you have to do all kinds of uh, repairing. Whereas if you just right off the bat (laughs) knew to, so I think that's a definite benefit to being an older parent is just not needing to. I don't know. Like you just learn, you learn their cries a little yep. better. You, you just, yeah. I don't know, you're like, oh, you're not so panicked and exactly. <laughs> yeah. She's got a fever. Yeah. She's going to be fine. Oh We're going to take care of it. It's not. So my friend was hanging out in, in here with me the other day and the kiddos uh-huh. were out in the front room and it was like every so often one of them would cry and we both would stop, but then we'd listen and assess the cry. And it was so funny because yeah. we're like, they're fine. Like we never even yeah. went there, but then it stopped and it was totally fine because we could tell like that is like nobody's hurt you know a hurt yep. yeah <laughs> you wait for the you yeah. wait for that particular one you're kind of like okay yeah no, if you hear that was a just a sound and then nothing run because yeah 
Like yeah. They're, they're waiting. The sound the and then the big pause and then the scream. That's yeah, a hospital yeah, yeah. visit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You run before the scream. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, oh no. Yeah. I think every parent knows that feeling. Yeah, right. Have your have your kids ever had and this is off on a tangent, sorry. That's right. But have your kids ever had like something terrible happen that way? An accident like that? No. We, we've had any we've kind had of hospitalization type things, but they've always been different like planned and well not so much planned I mean I guess with uh with Bella I had things that seemed like they would have been caused by like a big thing but she just had um ITP oh which yeah is, yeah I remember. so her like platelets would drop every time she got a virus and it's still something we had to be mindful of but like there's one time at school yeah. where they called because she had a bloody nose and she started bleeding out her eyes and she scared the shit out of them <sighs> and and it was just it was just too much blood and it was thin no and it was kidding all at once and yeah petrified them so and that yeah. was not a fun call to get and you know so I've, I've had the <laughs> the kind of traumatizing but they never started from like a broken arm or something like that yeah your kiddos have you done that um the only one I can think of was when my son was like four mm-hmm. we had done this science project where we had this little thing of alcohol methanol stuff anyway okay. and we lit it on fire and we were cooking stuff over the top of it okay and we had extra alcohol and so we just poured it into this water bottle no which was a horrible mistake you don't do that don't do that and anyway he came running in from playing outside and he just grabbed the water bottle and drank it Ugh. and um I <laughs> he threw it back up and he was screaming it was so sad it was like Aww. anyway it was terrible so what and um I called it? it's called methanol okay um like Cody would mix it with antifreeze and stuff for oh, yeah, not, antif- not antifreeze, windshield wiper. Anyway, I don't know <laughs> stuff for cars. He'd mix it with a little and, um, bleach and a little bit of a moon. <laughs> he just he just had this lab that no, yeah. um, no, it was for cars and stuff. But um, yeah. Anyway, I called. I figured it was alcohol, and I'm like, yeah, that sucks. And so I called poison control, and they're like, well, it looks like a teaspoonful could blind you. And I'm like, oh, oh. great. Yeah. So we had a nice, awesome ambulance ride to Pocatello. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's terrifying. Was, but he was okay. We yeah. We took care of it. He's good. He's got sight. He's awesome. <laughs> what do they do? Like milk? Um, pump his stomach? No, they do a. I think it's called a blood gas, where they test your blood every now and then, make sure it's not. Uh, their levels aren't rising too high. Oh, okay. And so if they would have hit a certain point, then he would have had to have a stomach pump, but. Okay. He never hit that. He never hit that point. He threw it all up for. Oh, in excellent. case y'all wanted to know. There you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did ask, so I think I wanted to know. <laughs> there was this bowel obstruction. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. There's like this thing mm-hmm. that says mute in the middle of this, but I have no idea why. It's not normally there. I'm gonna touch it for a second. I didn't know if it was on your side. Hold on. Oh, I could say ask to unmute. Oh, now you have to unmute it. Just kidding. I just figured out what it is. I'm a dumbass. We're no, we're, 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 on a Zoom, this out. We're, on, we're on a Zoom call, so I bet you it's not like recording. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want to find out that we have been doing this whole thing and somehow it was muted. Yeah, in mute. Yeah, now that would be, you know, that would be uh, what happens to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, so so this week is going to be reading Emily's lips because she can't, <laughs> you can't hear her. <laughs> um this is very random and stupid but do you ever remember playing the games where you were supposed to like lips like somebody would say something to you and then like they'd mouth it and you would think of what it was and then mouth it to the next person it was just like another version of telephone kind of like telephone yeah yeah but with like mouthing it i just remember I don't know that i ever played that one but i'm going to because that oh my sounds goodness. hilarious play, play it with kids because they <laughs> Like, because I remember doing it anyways, and I was a kid, but with other kids, and I I couldn't help but just laugh at everybody because it would be like, I love you. Like, they really, like, they think they're trying to, like. (laughs) Yeah. They're overemphasizing it when really, if you just do it normally. Yeah. I think that I, um, even when I, whether it's been a patient that's been hard of hearing or like at the restaurant, somebody ordering who's hard of hearing, when they tell me they read lips, I think. I do that. Like, I think I, I try to like, really, I don't think and then you can I help realize, it. I know. And I'll try to stop. Cause I'm like, okay, they know how to read lips. Not. Yeah. Not over exaggerated. <laughs> <lips. laughs> Anyways, that was random. 
and unnecessary, but there you go. The thing we noticed in my family is if somebody speaks a different language or doesn't speak English very well, that yeah. for some reason we get louder. Like, <laughs> because the volume, the volume yeah. is what will make them understand. Uh, yeah. No, I said. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, so yeah, yeah, stuff. So there's that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And see, if you have less stuff, you can go places and you can experience things like speaking to people in other languages and just kidding. No, but that's true. <laughs> it's true if you have less stuff on your plate because um, like, and I'm, I'm trying right now to go through and try to like assess and really truly get rid of things. And I'm still like fighting with the whole environmental aspect of like what you're getting rid of. But then I know that, Yeah. I also know that me individually, like my waste and my contributions aren't really like the big problem it's more how we're doing things on a systemic corporate yeah. type level like more accountability aware, but... more accountability needs to be in much bigger solutions um yeah than just mine so I, I need to kind of like set that aside a little bit just so that I can offload and I won't just take it to the dump like anything I can donate or sell I will give away yeah yeah because and most all this the purchasing I do now is like goodwill and if I get something yeah. new, I like to get it from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or somewhere where I feel like it's kind of run the gamut. Like it's not, yeah. not you know. You're like, saving it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. It makes me feel better, I guess. Plus the stuff is much cheaper and I think it's just as cute. Heck yeah. Yeah. So yep. I'm like, why, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Exactly. But I yeah, like too. I like, um, we have so much clothes, uh -huh. like so much clothes and somehow we're always washing it i'm wondering if they've just started taking things out like it goes in the drawer out of the closet and they just mm -hmm. take it out and go no i put it back and and it I'm, like, I don't, I'm, like, I'm like oh are we washing so much clothes and yet sometimes i feel like you won't change for days where right. are we, where's the you've worn the, last, the same outfit for the last three days <laughs> where did all this i've shit gotten a few from? things through yeah my kids will sometimes send things through that are folded. Like I'll bring their clothes up <laughs> and they're like, oh, well, I don't know if I've worn this. So I might as well. Are you kidding me? It's you folded. Kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Didn't even look at this. Oh. It was just on the floor and you were being fast. Yeah. Um, we have the problem with the dishes too, where we have tons of those too. Um, yeah. And I, I, I think I host too much to get rid of things like that. But I did contemplate like making like, a certain set of dishes that are ours, like everybody has a plate, a bowl or whatever, and it has a place to be and that's yours. And if it's dirty, wash it. Yeah. <laughs> Just because they use so many dishes and then they leave them all yeah. over the place. And I'm like, if you, only had, if, you only, if you only had access to one, you'd wash it if you needed it again, or you'd just keep using it or keep track of it. You know, yeah. like it's almost like I need, to, I need to take a bunch of stuff away to get them to focus on. I don't know. I think less is like that my answer a to a lot idea. of things. Yeah, not to not to get I'm rid of them all together, but just to kind of say, no. hey, this is our day to day dishes. You, you if they're old enough, you know, like you take responsibility yeah. for your dishes. Like that's not a difficult thing to do. And then also, like we're not washing as much stuff. Like what a waste of water and stuff to be constantly washing something that you took took a sip out of and left it in a corner somewhere. And I found it a week later. <laughs> Yeah. oh gosh <laughs> for reals oh the last time we used a sippy cup was a good day for me because i hated finding those under couches and like okay now that's one of those like, things that i will throw away right to the landfill i'm sorry mm -hmm. earth i'm sorry but if it's got milk yep. in it ugh, mm -hmm. like I, I can't bring myself to open it and fix it no. it goes no it's gone it's gone i feel that I'm like, in my mind, there's no way I can make that top clean enough. No, after it's been, no. Like... <laughs> Even with methane. Just kidding. <laughs> methanol, yeah. Even methanol, with methanol. Whatever. It's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, I'm trying to think. I kind of agree on that. You know, I'm just kind of spewing about what, about stuff. I don't have like a solution. Any advice? A solution? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. On what to do with stuff? Um. Did you ever watch that Marie Kondo? Is that the, like, does this bring me joy? Yes. That does this spark joy? Yeah. Yeah. Like 
that um, that that is still so unnatural to me but I could do I'm sure I could do the exact same thing without doing exactly what she's saying yeah no oh, I, yeah. I I watched it and there's like one thing that I kept from it but um yeah. the thing that I liked is she's like if something has fulfilled its job to you like if it's if you've uh anyway she says um tell it thank you for your for a job well done and mm. let it go yeah and I'm like oh man because there's so many things that I keep because I'm like well it still has a few uses and it's still yeah you know, yeah yeah it was this sweater fit me in high school and I really liked it then <laughs> I'll never wear it again but I can't just let it go you know yeah but then your kid thank might you. wear it one day <laughs> my kids don't wear anything that I used to <laughs> <laughs> oh. we have we have my dad's oh, yeah, letterman you jacket like a, you dressed like a 12 year old girl would not I like, wish a, not like, like a, a today box. 12 year old girl no today like, five-year-old girl I don't know mm -hmm. they all dress better than we ever did yes like so seriously the, the toddlers are wearing much more fashionable things than mm -hmm. like fashion my kids don't want not even anything a thing. I had. like I don't know how I decided my outfits but there was not I I don't remember there being any thought I so, remember thinking this is a t-shirt and these are jeans that's about it <laughs> <laughs> Does this t-shirt go with these jeans? Yes, it does. Then great. <laughs> adjusting here. Yeah. And so. adjusting them. <laughs> I am going to watch that movie this week, I think. That is. Yeah. Ever since last awesome. week, and you said Mr. Sand Did you? 3000, I was like, yes. no, I have not watched The Ridiculous Six, but I'm going to. Me and Anthony did talk about okay. it. And I think we like started at one point in time, and he actually said that it was like we stopped because it like wasn't thrilling us. But now I'm like, now I have to oh. do it because I need to see through this to see if I can see mm -hmm. where Cody's coming from at all with the one that makes you laugh. I bet you it will. Cause I just, a lot of times what makes me laugh in movies is I like, I almost like imagine being there, like how funny it must've been for them uh -huh. to film it. Like whether or not the end product really comes across as like, ha, that's hilarious. Or that's, <laughs> that's, awesome. or that's yeah. stupid. I can see them like doing all these Would this be takes. something I would have done? <laughs> yeah. And like, and I'm sure they're like, just, spitballing it and seeing a bunch of random shit and it was probably so funny so sometimes throwing like, stuff at the wall and seeing what yeah, sticks if it feels like that's probably how that scene came to be it'll make me laugh so hard because i'm just like a, picturing them like doing it uh -huh. um, so i still think i'm gonna like it but but apparently okay. anthony okay. said my initial uh, evaluation of it was was apparently like yours was because yeah. <laughs> we didn't make it past There's... very far apparently <laughs> no <laughs> i didn't want to <laughs> And it probably also is like what mood you're in. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, yeah, that goes for like any movie. So, but it, well, definitely this time I'm going to be like intentionally high. Yeah. And I feel like it's just going to be a good time. High by all. Good times <laughs> high by all. Yeah. 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 Indeed. And, and movies. Now we don't need so much stuff because we have Netflix and we have streaming services. And yeah. Yeah even the video online rentals yeah even the ones that we own we own digitally mm -hmm. like <laughs> we have a whole Which digital cool. library yeah of things that we purchased it's weird because it used to be if you had it digital it was because it was ripped off <laughs> right <laughs> it was bootlegged yeah exactly whereas now that's just how you purchase things that is yeah. and it's kind of nice I, we have a whole drawer full of our old dvds and i'm like i don't think we've watched a dvd in like mm -hmm. a very long time I think they're like Elena's toys right now. And I feel bad with because I'm like, oh, such a waste. But I'm like, but who has a DVD player? And she's enjoying them right now. I'm like some, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, is, I don't know what else to do with them. So she's like playing with them. You can do art yeah. projects with them. Yeah, I figured, see, Bella My daughter has like, them. Bella bought like some old records from like Goodwill. And she has them just yeah. like hanging on her wall in her room. And I'm like, I guess we could do that so with cool. CDs. But yeah, but records look so much cooler than CDs. I just, I think that the records work better than CDs. So, but I could do yeah. some sort of an art thing with them. Have but, you ever put them in the microwave? This is so dumb, but no. have you ever put a CD in the microwave? Should I? It's worth doing. Okay. For, I don't remember how long, but it's like not very long, 10 seconds or something. Okay. I was going to say, they say things come in three and I've only had two house fires. So <laughs> worth a try. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh yeah microwaves and uh, uh there's a lot of stories there but really yeah you could yeah 
Why? I, <laughs> I went to I went to scout camp one time because okay. I was a scout leader. Okay. And I came home and was super sick for some reason. Oh. And so I just went straight to bed uh-huh. and I woke up an hour later and nobody was home and the house was filled with smoke. And I'm like, oh, no. what is going on? <laughs> I'm not there because I'm super sick. And I'm walking into the living room, everything's smoky, my microwave's going, and all of a sudden it beeps really loud and something explodes. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I was so confused. <laughs> and um, apparently, have you, okay, we, we bought these individual cookie dough things from a fundraiser, okay. and my daughter wanted a cookie, right? Just okay. one, but she didn't want to cook it in the oven. So she stuck it in the microwave for as long as you cook regular cookies for anyway. So it was like 10 minutes. Okay. And I happened to wake up and come in the kitchen right as her plate exploded. Oh my God. <laughs> so oh, that's a great way to wake up. Isn't it though? Isn't yeah. it? We, that was uh, a lot of weird yeah. information for we short one story. time. Um the first time Bella made Easy Mac, like nobody she'd seen us make it but she just you know she just kind of went to make herself some didn't ask for anything so she didn't know to put water in it and it definitely like burned and made everything smoky and stuff like that so we've had we've had some of those smoky things but no explosions thankfully and we yeah, and then we were able to be explosion. like oh yeah by the way put water in that that's our bad we, we didn't tell you because she's, but now you she's know. the responsible type that's like, hey, I want this. I'm going to go try to make it. Now I've seen them make it. What do you think is, yeah. you know, she hadn't quite, she was pretty young. She missed, she missed a step. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the fact but that now she, she knows and she'll on never... her own, I'm like, okay, good. Because because so many times, yeah. they're like, you know, they'll come and ask a thing that's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can figure this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I've raised you better than this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also I'm not oh, that going hits too to close do it. To home. So here's where here's where you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throw you in the water, you can swim. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing that with my daughter for going to college. Like, well, yeah. I hope I taught you everything. See you later. <laughs> yeah. When does she move out or has she? No, she'll move out um like at the end of the summer. Mm. So we're enjoying our last little bit yeah well hopefully she'll be the type to come back often I think she will yeah I think she will maybe she won't but I think she it'll be it'll be a new experience for all of us yeah that'd be awesome it's like terrifying but also so exciting thinking about like growing them growing up and yeah they're your kids but also taking on the world just like I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like my kids are really cool. I like hanging out with them. Like do like we all have different things we Absolutely. like to do, but we do it with each other. And so mm-hmm. like when they're grown, hopefully we'll just be like a continuation of like, oh, hey, now I've got these awesome humans to like adventure with. To hang out I'm, with. I'm sure they're not going to want to play with us as much as I want to play with them. <laughs> no, but there will be times when they can actually do stuff. You know, there's. Yeah. You. You raise them through the little little stages where you have to hold their hand and yeah, they're not old enough to do everything. And I shouldn't say you have to hold your hand. You get to hold their hand because they're super cute. But, <laughs> but it is cool when they can actually be grown up humans. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. And we're going to go tour college for Aubrey this weekend. So yeah, that should be interesting. Are you excited? I kind of am. Yeah. And it's like, it's like bittersweet. Yeah. So I imagine. Well, anyways, yay, OBS. Uh, That's awesome. But I hope she has at least half the fun that we had because we had a lot of fun. <laughs> and maybe don't do the dumb things we did. You'll do your own yeah. dumb things, I guess. But. That's what I tell her. I'm like, dude, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to be stupid. And there's going to be a lot of times when you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. That's all. Just, uh, you know, be smart about it. <laughs> as smart as you can be. Exactly. And forgive yourself when you're not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, oh gosh. Oh. It is going to be hard, though. It's going to be so hard. I can't even imagine. But it'll be here before. Yeah, I'm we'll not. do a podcast of Emily crying. When... <laughs> <laughs> this is Emily sad. <laughs> anyway. Remember that stuff thing? <laughs> no, I got rid of a whole human. 
Oh, I got rid of all. <laughs> yeah, kids. I don't know if kids fall in this stuff category. <laughs> She she did spark joy, so <laughs> you've served your purpose well. Go be off you go. <laughs> and, uh, oh. Yeah, and then she just comes comes back as a as a friend. Here you go. That's right. I hope that's the case. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will be. A anyway. friend that brings me her laundry <laughs> <laughs> and steals my food. <laughs> Wait, is that not what friends are supposed to do? <laughs> what? Sorry, I've sorry. had this mistake in this whole time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure being friends has something to do with being or having food too. It's just yeah. Just a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, cooking is so much more fun with friends. Have you like made a meal with someone before? Like had them over to make a meal? Not like I've I've done dinner with people, but I haven't had somebody over specifically to make. Well, I was, I've done with my kids. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that's fun too, but I've, uh, <laughs> yeah, the Marley as fun as that is <laughs> the Marley spoon boxes where it's like Martha Stewart's, like where they send you all the ingredients and you make it. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, I would get it and then not make things and then be like, shit, I need to make three meals that so have my friend Jamie come over and we've done it. We're like, I made a meal. She made a meal. Anthony made a meal, or we just made our own thing out of all of it. But those are like the only times I enjoy cooking and actually um, really yeah I had another I've had a couple friends come by now and like make things just when I have the meal prep thing because then it's easy although I just canceled that because I felt like I was like getting borderline like a little too wasty you know yeah it's like you don't always want exactly what it is before it's gonna go bad and then you have to make it and yeah or you cook it a little too long and you're like like, eh, this would have been easier to go out because gonna... I destroyed it <laughs> but I really I find I really like cooking now in a group like when it's like an activity but that's a good idea yeah I'm and gonna find some friends here and then I'm gonna just, go cook come, with them. just come here I, should. I know you guys have friends you said you went on a double date we should go on double dates with family <laughs> what no my um my husband's brothers and sisters some of them live nearby and so okay. they're my friends and yeah yeah I don't know I'm we do have friends I shouldn't say I don't have any friends we do yeah but still there's it's not the same yeah like the type like it's not just anyone that you like invite in because you're your you're work it's not like you're entertaining them you're like yeah but we we are we're all we like talk and we'll normally like smoke a bowl and be just chopping veggies and talking yeah and you know so it's it's a good time but well sweet yeah just move here okay fine. <laughs> you could be right here and i could and we could do it together in the yeah, same yeah, room yeah and then we could like we could do that thing where you like just watch stuff and react to it <laughs> that would be awesome we could do that I think we'd be good at that yeah I just don't know how to do it but it would be easier if it, we were together so then I only have this one video and whatever the other thing true is. so I think it's that's true. reason enough for you guys to move to Florida okay I'm down I'm down let's go let's go Say you sure you don't want to move to Idaho sure 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 all the sure <laughs> All, all the shirts that ever shared. <laughs> um, but I am really excited to come visit. Um, yes, absolutely. You know, that time whenever it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely going to happen. I want it. I want it to happen this like fall. But I just need things to like. Just need fall things to place. continue to align where I have like the ability and the the financials to go and do it. But then we can come and do our whole classic skating and so Cafe I Rio guess. and hike the Y. All good things. We should just and pick a date need and say it. Long boards. I still have my Greg board. And Bella has a long board. Um, I can I can wrestle one up. I know where a few are. Yeah. See, mine made it through like it was in the front of the garage in the fire. Yeah. But like, yeah. I think it might even have some like soot and stuff in it, but it still works. It still exists. Still works. Awesome. Yeah. We had our Greg board for a long time. And then my kids found it and then they love playing with it outside and it got outsided. Yeah. Well, and it got, it got love. That's good. It did. 
Indeed. Yeah. My kids, like, so. we live on a bit of a, a hill. So the, they used to, they haven't recently. I'll have to remind them it's there, but they used to ride it down like our little sidewalk Sweet. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's got Good some times. love, but it needs more for sure. Needs there, more love. There's much needs life in my Gregory board. Maybe this summer I'll just, um, I will look up how to make a long board and I'll teach my kids how to, how to make a long board. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. All you need is like the, the, the trucks or whatever, the wheels and then yep. whatever board you want. Cause the Gregory board is nothing like a, a real, not, no, I shouldn't say a real long board, but I guess like a, a long board. You they serve the their purpose very well, but yes. But our mine's more like a gigantic surfboard. <laughs> on wheels <laughs> it is really big <laughs> compared it's to a perfect. surfboard I'm sure it's small but it's compared to a regular longboard it's, <laughs> it's and I like long. I like it's yeah I can, I can lay on mine <laughs> mm -hmm. and and we often did. Often, so yeah oh my goodness I still sometimes can't believe that we used to we used to go down the Provo Canyon Trail face first at night with flip-flops on our hands for breaks and a flashlight in our mouth how are we alive? <laughs> Did Cody ever tell you about the time when there was someone sitting in the path? Yeah, where and then there was and the guy like said he was fine or whatever, but then you guys got to the bottom, there was blood on his board. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I wasn't there, but yeah, yeah, he was and it was like the middle of the night. It was super dark and there's no lights and they were like speed running it. Yeah. And then there was all of a sudden somebody sitting in the middle of the path and they yeah. crashed. It was not. Yeah, good. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if we do the Provo, uh, if we do that Canyon Trail again, um, we definitely need to wear some helmets. That would probably be a good idea. It would and, have been a good idea then. Yeah, and probably both have our own boards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I feel like sometimes, I, like for me at least, it's easier if I can just like have my own thing. I know there were a few times where mm -hmm. I felt like, <laughs> but there's two people on there. You can you can throw each other off and rip a hole in your Absolutely. ass like you did <laughs> <laughs> yep i think that that is a thing yeah it, it and is. i think we're we're grown up enough that we can each have our own board <laughs> <laughs> we can take the training wheels uh, off yeah but i was thinking like uh like oh man i would love to take the kids but then i'm like i i don't i don't know maybe maybe, maybe i don't want to i don't know i don't want to i don't think i'd be able to like take care of myself and have a good time so we might have to do it ourselves first and decide but we can okay. we'll, like put some gopros on our heads or whatever <laughs> you yeah. can have one and i'll have one where we're helmets and we'll, perfect we'll do a uh a, a longboarding episode <laughs> okay sweet and i think the background music should be the woohoo when i feel heavy yeah <laughs> anyway and we'll have to hitchhike to the top again just kidding. Sure we would <laughs> kids don't do it don't also, hitchhike yeah don't unsafe. unsafe unsafe stupid decision we were fine but we got lucky <laughs> <laughs> once again that would be the title of my memoir <laughs> <laughs> we were stupid but we got lucky yeah <laughs> oh my god yeah pretty much uh, oh. mm -hmm. anyways all right well, we really that was back we really when we didn't have stuff yes yeah seriously when we so we, I, we weren't so busy taking care of all of our stuff that we forgot to go out and live mm -hmm. yeah even if we are able to keep this like level of living that we have right now which we really hope that we are just because I do love to host so much and I do love to share all the things yeah. that we have I definitely am going to start getting rid of stuff to the point that like every night there's not laundry that needs to be done and every day we're not doing so many loads of like it's it's so wasteful and like a waste of my time to just basically be like this made for this house and it's either I do it or it stays dirty and I'm not comfortable with the level of dirty so I'm like if yeah, you just get rid of mean. a bunch of shit it can't get to this point and I can be happy and live my life too <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then and then because I'm not doing that stuff we can be like, oh, I don't have anything to do here. Well, let's go jump on the trampoline or, you know, yeah. cause I'm still, I'm the only one that could do a backflip out of my family so far. So I have never been able to do a backflip. Maybe that's like this summer's goal. Do it. Just do kidding. It. I you will know, break my neck. No, it's easier than you think. I remember I, I do you remember myself. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
maybe, maybe. But I believe yeah. in you. I believe in you. Thank you. Um, in the seventh grade, um, I taught myself how to do it because, like, I I had a crush on a kid and I thought he would think it was cool or something. I guess. So I think right. I, I just I decided that was it. Like he was gonna be like, damn. Some, he, somewhere there's wanted, a kid that's like, I wonder what I, happened to that girl that could do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really yeah, got me, man. Me now. That back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. Good times. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about at an well, hour and I got a... Okay. I got to pack for um, uh, got to do some things. Oh, yes. Yeah, do. I got to do some laundry and pack. It's we're only staying overnight two days, but you know, we have so oh, much. Oh, no, it's a lot when stuff. you have kids. Yeah. Yeah. And we're planning on go to the beach. So want to get like, Fun. and I think it's only going to be like 80 something, which I know. Only. You, I know. I know. Yeah. When you oh. live here for some reason, I don't know. It just feels like if it's not like 90 to 100, like it's not Is like it really, really worth going. <laughs> but we plan to go and like, play in the like because Aline was only two and a half you know so I'm like yeah. I'm not gonna want her really you know like out in the water tons anyways so be better if we're yeah I'm gonna bring like the volleyball and we're gonna build some sandcastles um, and yeah it's gonna be fun we're making memories and stuff once again I will be there in like however many hours it takes I want to go stop lying to me Come <laughs> I, on. Know. I know I'm All lying to lies, myself I can't take the lies yeah <laughs> Uh, someday someday it will be really fun yeah I know one day you need to come I mean you've been here to my house but you guys need to come and like just just think of our house as your vacation house because we love we love hosting and just (laughs) come get up in the morning I love hoes I love me some hoes and you know you're my hoe so (laughs) (laughs) Uh, no, but we've said that to like multiple people. I'm like, this is, oh, I can't hear you. How you doing? I got a call again and it's, my vocals are going to be gone. Give me a second. I'm hearing you, so. Happens. <laughs> we made it through without it. We almost. Almost made it through without a technical difficulty. Oh no, we started with one. Throw one in there. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> if you can't take me at my, then you can't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I love your. <laughs> That's good. Just gotta keep That's doing good. that. I'll be <laughs> my unchinged jaw. There, <laughs> there, there, there. <laughs> unhinged jaw made me think of um anthony he's like uh i can't remember i was i'd like walked around a quarter yawning or something you know and he was like you're so pretty but when you yawn (laughs) it's like your jaw like detaches from your (laughs) he's like Oh, like he's not wrong it's like I've, when the I've demon caught... tries to come out <laughs> you know pretty much when i yawn it is a demon trying to escape it's like i can tort <laughs> anyways uh, that's uh and on that no <laughs> that happy no i think we're gonna have to see it yeah no <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to yawn? see this yawn occasion yeah not i don't know if you can do it on command but anyway no, no. it's one of those things that just has to happen <laughs> all right all right, all right. well but yeah stuff uh, have less stuff get rid of stuff and yeah. do more things that are not stuff related yeah this is so true true that's what i'm so that's what i'm working on that's what i'm thinking about perfect boom baby thank you for giving me inspiration to declutter the the stuff yeah seriously i think uh like so many things in life are going to feel a little bit better because I won't have this, like this thing. I just on my mind, all this stuff. So Mm -hmm. if you're looking for stuff, I'm offloading stuff. Come take stuff. (laughs) If you're wanting stuff, I have stuff. My stuff could be your stuff. (laughs) All right. Well, I'm going to go back now. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun on your trip. Be safe. 
Yes, thank and you. Lilas. Lilas, I'll talk to you later. Okay, right. bye-bye. See ya. Bye.